Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you can tell by the title down below, is a collaboration with Sports Girl. It is sort of the beginning of my Sports Girl series. I'm doing a few videos with them on their beauty products and a few get ready with me's using their clothes. And I'm really excited about it because I've always loved Sports Girl, I've always shopped there. Now that I think about it, it's probably the first makeup I ever bought myself was from Sports Girl. I, rem I remember distinctly, it was a bronzer that was big and it was in a circle with stripes down the side that went outwards. Um, me and my friend Days were obsessed with it, it was the only bronzer we used for ages. So yes, this is the beginning of my Sports Girl series. It is a how-to contour and highlight using their products and I'm absolutely in love with them. So you guys know me, the number one goal for me when I use makeup is to use products that will be as lightweight as possible and give me the most natural effect as possible and be sort of as radiant as possible. So these products definitely do do that. They are really nice lightweight products, they don't feel heavy on the skin and they give you a really beautiful glow. And I'll make sure to leave all the links to all the products that I used down below in the description box if you guys want to check anything out. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get started. So to begin, no matter what, I always, always will start with the primer. I feel like when you start with the primer, it makes everything easier to apply on top of it. So I'm going to use the Sports Girl Time to Prime Primer first. Just put a decent amount of this all over my face. This one's nice because it's really illuminating and then also really moisturizing. I have fluff on my face. And excuse my hair, I've just jumped out of the shower so it's all wet and <laughs> I look like a boy. But because <laughs> we're focusing on the face, I thought it would be good to tie my hair back anyway. Now for me, when I do contour and highlighting, especially using cream products, I don't like to use much foundation underneath. So I'm going to put a tiny bit of the foundation on, but not too much because otherwise everything tends to layer up on top of each other too much and ends up being quite cakey. So my tip for cream contouring is to t apply a tiny bit of foundation because basically essentially all you want to do is even out your skin tones. I'm going to use the face Base foundation in the shade medium and I'm just using a little bit. This is sort of half a pump so far and we can build it up as we go. And I'm using their beauty sponge as well to blend this in. This is huge. <laughs> So I've been trialing out all these Sports Girl products for probably, God, it would be before Christmas, probably, probably around two months now, and I am really, really impressed with it. You can build it up however you want, how intensely you want your foundation and how much coverage you want. It's very subjective, you can build it up to however heavy you would like it. Next I like to conceal. So I like to do the light parts first because then I find it easier to blend dark over the top of light. So I'm going to take the Double Trouble Contour Wand. I'm using the medium one. And I like to take the concealer and use it in a triangle underneath my eyes brightening the under eyes because obviously we get really tired and dull under the under eyes and then it also obviously conceals any bags under your eyes. I like to put it on my chin, down the bridge of my nose and on my forehead. So I'm going to take the same beauty sponge and just blend that in. I was actually very pleasantly surprised by this concealer. It's super super like not super super full coverage but it does an amazing job at covering any dark circles because I have quite dark, as you can see in contrast, I have very dark circles but then also very dark eyelids. So it does an amazing job at covering. So now as you can see my face is pretty white compared to my body and then quite um, blank I'd say so there's not much going on. <laughs> what I've been doing with my Sports Girl products is I've been actually taking two different um, sort of cream bronzers, cream contour products. I take the other end of the concealer and I warm the outer perimeter of my face up first and then I take this contour stick which is a little bit cooler toned and then I strategically contour my face. So I'm going to begin using the other end of the wand. The main, fo the main point of this is to warm up my foundation because it is a little light for me. I'll take the other end of the beauty sponge again and I'll begin to just Blend that into the skin. You, have to be, you don't have to be too precise with this because all we're doing is warming up the foundation. So you can pretty roughly just blend that in all over the skin. So 
So now I'm going to take this product. I actually, this has become one of my everyday routine products. I love the shade of this contour stick. So I'm going to take this to further define my face. Can you see that it's a little more cool toned than the one we used before? And now I'm going to take their buffing brush. I love this because the bristles are so short and so densely packed. It's so easy to blend out cream contour with this. So yeah, I'm just going to blend that in now. Did you see how easily that happened? I cannot rave enough about this brush. Okay, so now before the concealer creases, I'm going to take their banana setting powder and I'm just going to set my under eyes and all the highlighted points of my face. Oh, don't want to set the creases. The key for me and the tip from me is that I always use a little bit of everything. I'm not, except for the concealer, I went pretty ham on the concealer, but um, I'm not into using excessive amounts of every product. I like to use a little bit of foundation, a little bit of cream bronzer, and, and if you need to add more, it's better to go that way by adding little bits at a time instead of going overboard um, and creating a cakey mess on your face. So as you can see, it looks very natural and it looks very subtle on my skin, but it's still given me so much dimension and um, like a very healthy complexion. Next I'm gonna jump onto their Time to Define Contour Palette. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to start contouring with the brown powders. I'm going to take sort of sort of a mixture of these two. I start I like to start from the top of my ear here and go towards this part of my lip, but I finish halfway in between where my eye ends, so around this halfway through my cheek. So if you feel like that contour got a bit messy, just take a bit of the banana and light shades with your brush and just run that directly underneath and it'll clean up your contour for you. But I like the On The Glow Sun Kissed palette because it has deeper shades in it and I like this one just up here. And begin highlighting the highest points of my face. So I take it over my cheekbones. Can you guys see how good that highlight is? <laughs> like these products are no joke. So as you guys can see, putting a shimmer over the cheekbone sort of just lifts the cheekbone up and makes you look like you've got like a really high lifted cheekbone, which I certainly don't. I've got a round potato face. <laughs> I love taking the contour blender and you take a little bit of the same shade. You run it directly down the center just here in a straight line and make a little exclamation on your nose. So you go down here and then on the tip. And that'll give the illusion of a little button nose and a really thin nose. Uh, and then on the inner tear ducts, on the cupid's bow. How crazy is that? So now I'm going to take some of their Sports Girl Blink Big Fiber Lash Mascara. This one has fibers in it, so it's supposed to make your lashes look super, super long. always get mascara everywhere like how did I manage to get it there and there <laughs> okay so that is the finished result I hope you guys found this little step-by-step -step how to contour and highlight easy make sure to stick around for my next sports girl videos I have a few more coming out in my sports girl series and I will see you in my next one